Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for swinging by, I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're gonna be talking about a new holster from Blade Tech. And typically I don't usually like to do a standalone video for just a holster, but for this time I'm making an exception, and that is because of some of the innovation that Blade, Blade Tech has actually put into this holster. We're gonna talk about that here in just a second, but before we get into that, I just wanna thank you guys for swinging by and being a part of the channel. I really do appreciate everybody's support, and I really hope that you guys are finding some uh, added benefit, whether it be through entertainment or education on everything that's going on. If you're interested, please subscribe to the channel, share it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. My question to you is what is your favorite holster? What is the go-to? brand that you like to go to, whether it be Blade Tech or some other manufacturer, let me know. Sound off in the comment section down below. Okay, so let's talk about this one here real quick. And uh, I, I have to say, Blade Tech's been around for quite some time. And in fact, it is the first holster that I ever purchased when I started to conceal carry on a full-time basis. And uh, I was also able to use that holster for uh, two-gun matches and stuff like that. So I've known about Blade Tech for quite some time. They've been around for decades now, and uh, they have all of their um, holsters manufactured in the United States. Uh, so that's pretty cool as well. They're extremely robust, very thick polymer, and do a really great job at um, securing the firearm in the holster and does a pretty decent job for concealment as well. So let's talk about this one. It is called the... Total Eclipse 2.0. And if I have to say anything about that, uh, Blade Tech, please, please change the name. <laughs> please change the name. It's a great holster. I, I really do think that this is going to serve a lot of people really good. I'm going to explain why. But the name, it makes me think of this. Nothing I can say. Total Eclipse of the heart. So please, please change the name. <laughs> I kid, I kid guys, but uh, realistically, one of the interesting things about this holster is what we can see here on the back side with these little tabs right here. These tabs allow you to take whatever type of clip that you're using and pull that clip right off. And then you can switch from an inside the waistband style clip to an outside the waistband style clip just that quickly. So you can carry on the outside or you can remove these just this simple slide the new one in lock it into place and you now have an inside the waistband holster so you don't have to buy multiple holsters to do what you need it to do it will do it all in one setup these are called their mod lock clips and you can uh, purchase uh, additional types they have a 45 degree FBI cant. Uh, they have these Modlock uh, style clips here. We'll talk about that here in just a second. But it's going to come with inside the waistband and outside the waistband Modlock clips to begin with. So I thought that was actually a really cool um, innovation that Blade Tech has pulled together with this holster. Now, what is the concealability like with this holster? It's pretty decent, regardless if you're doing outside the waistband or inside the waistband, especially if uh, we're looking at something like kind of colder weather type of situation. A lot of individuals like to carry outside the waistband during fall and winter months because it's just a little bit easier and uh, a lot of people are wearing coats or hoodies or whatever the case may be so wearing an outside the waistband holster is a viable option i personally carry inside the waistband pretty much 100 percent of the time unless i'm doing some type of like shooting competition and uh, so far so good it's been fairly comfortable the one complaint that i would have about this particular setup especially trying to carry um, inside the waistband concealed is for me personally I like to carry appendix inside the waistband because I feel that I can defend myself a little better I can defend my firearm a little better with it being at the appendix position I can kind of get my hands up and deflect people keeping them away from me or my firearm 
uh, at the appendix position. On the side or the four o'clock, I might just feel real uncomfortable. I feel like someone can get in behind me and pull that firearm out from my holster. So having it in the appendix position is my preferred way to carry. And the one thing that I would gig this holster on is that uh, I would love to see Blade Tech integrate some type of mod wing uh, for this, some type of concealment claw or concealment wing, uh, maybe integrated into the, uh, the mod lock system right here that would push uh, your belt or your pant line away from the holster, concealing that pistol grip just a little bit better. Outside of that, this has been a really comfortable holster to wear throughout uh, most of my days. So um, whether I'm driving to work or just out and about at the mall or whatever the case may be, it has been extremely comfortable. All right, so we got the mod lock system right here and I'm gonna switch to these mod lock clips. So all I gotta do after I've been carrying this concealed, I can pull this out, swip it here, insert this one, Just like that and then I'm ready to insert into my belt and I'm at the range time to train The entire setup uh, with the regular outside the waistband and inside the waistband um, mod lock clips are going to be uh, about 60 bucks for this holster and those two styles of clips. And I think that that is actually a really, really good deal, especially when you have some of the holsters out on the market day approaching $120 or more, depending on what you are trying to purchase and what you're uh, hoping to accomplish with that holster. So that has been some really great innovation with this holster. Now, as you can see right here, we have a uh, cut for optics cut. And the question may be, what types of optics could you use for this style of holster? Is it limited only to like an RMR or anything else? And the answer is no. It actually is able to accommodate a large optic, much like this Aimpoint Acro. As you can see, there is plenty of space around that optic uh, for you to use uh, any type of optic, whether it's something large like this Acro, something smaller like a Hollow Sun 507K, or just a standard RMR, it doesn't matter. Um, the lockup on this is really, really good. You can sit here and shake it and it's not moving anywhere. I have it pretty tight, um, which is kind of the way I like it anyway. So uh, there you have it. Again, it has been extremely comfortable. I've really enjoyed it and I encourage you guys to swing on by Blade Tech. Take a look at what they've got going on and let me know what you guys think. Sound off in the comment section down below if you had any experience with Blade Tech. If you have, has it been good? And what are some of the holsters that you have used from them? Would love to hear what you guys have to say. Always love to chat with you guys down in the comment section. With that, that's basically it. If you haven't already, check out the Fit and Fire newsletter and sign up for that. Doing monthly giveaways and always have great deals on ammo, firearm, firearm accessory, and a good resource for you guys to find some training throughout the United States from a lot of different great instructors, some of whom I've already trained with. So swing on by fitandfire.com, sign up right on the homepage. I'd really appreciate it. As I said, that's about it for this video. I really do appreciate you guys swinging by. And as always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later. Bye y'all.